can you prepare for a recession? And even if you're not worried about a recession per se, should you be preparing anyways? Excellent question, Shanali. And look, the big risk for consumers in a recession is that they lose their jobs. Now, we don't want anyone to panic. You know, we don't know if there will be a recession. But this is a good question to ask yourself anyway from a personal finance standpoint. What would you do if you knew that you were going to lose your job next week? You would probably cut back on expenses. You would probably pay down high interest debts. You would probably make sure, in essence, that you had your financial house in order. And that is one of the best things that people can do if they think there may be a recession on the horizon. Now, it's interesting because for the last several months, we saw the great resignation. People were leaving jobs, thinking they could find jobs anywhere. Uh, there were a lot of jobs available. There still are a lot of jobs available. So why now are we still worried about jobs potentially being lost? Yeah, I think the big concern is that if there is a recession, the economy would effectively contract. And that would mean that there's just less economic activity going on. The, the need for workers could potentially be lower. Now, we don't know if that is going to be the case. There are, of course, some indications that that could be. And that's why it's really good for people now to start thinking about what could happen, especially if they haven't been through a recession, recessionary situation before, which, Shanali, I think you and I remember well from our, from our days starting off in the workplace, um, what that was like. And it was difficult. It happens quickly, right? So it does. It happens quickly. There's also other things that are about to happen, student loan moratoriums ending. Are there other reasons that people might find that their spending power is diminishing, especially with so much inflation that we're seeing? Yeah, so we're looking at the price of, you know, consumer staples go up. We are, th you know, thinking about how and if the Biden administration will resume these student loan payments. And so I think taking a look not just at your own personal balance sheet right now when, you know, it feels it, it feels great. It feels like the economy is in a relatively good place. We're not in a recession. But thinking out about what your personal balance sheet could look like six months in advance and maybe a year in advance. And that could really make you think about some of these situations arising that could take a toll on your personal finance situation. And I think the, the phrase is make hay while the sun shines. And that is a medieval phrase that goes back to make, you know, take advantage of a good situation right now for rainy days ahead. Well, what about the market here? If you have an extra dollar to spend, should you be putting it in the stock market or even in cryptocurrencies, which have done really well compared to the stock market since the war has actually broken out? Yeah, that's really surprising. So look, if you've got your financial house in order, if you're really on it and you are able to invest more, the thing that financial advisors always say is, you know, don't react to headlines, right? React to fundamentals, make good and smart investments. But if you do think that there could be some choppy waters ahead, this is a really good moment to reassess your risk tolerance, right? Chanel, you mentioned crypto. And for a long time, when it seemed like the economy was growing, when the stock market continued to go up, some of these riskier, maybe say smaller cryptocurrencies, cryptocurrencies maybe without the history, of some of the larger ones looked really attractive. And, you know, let's say you did lose your job, you didn't have that income. Is that a risk that you're going to be willing to take in the future? That's a question that you should ask yourself with crypto and any other investment that you're thinking about making. Now, we heard from Katya Dimitrieva and we heard from Claudia Sam about how people are prolonging investments here. They're not making big money spends right now. So are there investments that people should maybe think about prolonging or do right now before rates start to rise? Yeah, you know, if there is something that you can afford that you've had your eye on that you've shopped around for, uh, maybe it's something that, you know, could increase the value of your home if you're potentially selling your home in the future. If it's something that could significantly increase your quality of life that you know that you do need now, um, you know, that could be a good a, a good investment to make as long as you are not taking on, you know, significant payments that you would really struggle to make if, say, you did lose your job. Now, on the market side, you know, if you are in a great place, if you can start to make some some investments that could, you know, continue to do well even a recession, that would be more defensive sectors. That would be things like consumer staples. That would be things like food, supermarkets, that people, even when the economy is down, continue to buy.